Hello and welcome to today's class of alternating currents. As you have already studied in your previous sections and by the day to day knowledge, we already know that the current which is supplied to in our homes is alternating current. It's only because the value of the current keeps on changing. But the frequency, the frequency of the current is very high which does not allow our naked eyes to sense or our organs to sense the presence of this alternating value. If you look closely in, into a light bulb, you would find that it flickers 60 times in one second, which cannot be detected by human eye. So the current is known as alternating current, which says the value would keep on changing. Moving on, we would find in the next slide that what is a current source and what are the types of current sources. So for the first current source is DC which is known as direct current. A direct current is nothing but a current whose magnitude does not change. With time, but it never attains a negative value. It would always be on the positive side. So this, this would be the output source for a direct current. But the voltage and current which vary with time, these are very common. The electric main supply in our homes and offices, they have sine function like wave. So if we talk about the current and voltage which is coming to our houses or in our offices, it would be somewhat like this, a sine wave. And we can see that this sine wave attains a maximum value at a point, then attains another maximum value in the negative direction at a point, and in between you would get the zero value, so which would be the cause of flickering. As in case of generators, you must have seen that the light flickers, it's only because the value once reaching the maximum in one direction, when it goes to the maximum value in the opposite direction, it would cross a point zero in between. Such voltages are called alternating voltages and the current driven by such circuits are alternating currents. Why do we prefer to use AC voltage over a DC voltage which can be easily and efficiently converted? So the thing is <coughs> AC can be transferred long distance without loss of energy. Moreover, DC voltage is dangerous as compared to AC voltage. Electrical energy when transferred over long distances is economical, more economical using AC. As we all know that the magnitude and the direction would change periodically in alternating current. It gives us an average value of current equals to zero since the positive cycle would be cancelled by the negative cycle. So the average value over a period of time T would always be zero. Hence we can say that there is no current present at any in, at any instant in any wire which is carrying the voltage to our homes from the supply. So hence we would say that it is efficient to use AC over DC. <coughs> okay. Now AC voltage when is applied to a resistor and what happens when it is applied to a capacitor and what happens when it is applied to an inductor. This is what we would study in this chapter. So as for the introduction part, different different circuit components would behave differently when treated with alternating current or when treated with direct current. You would find the difference that the com circuit components behave in a different manner. So we would study in this chapter when an AC voltage is applied to resistor, what would happen when a DC voltage is applied to resistor, what would happen. Thank you.